All right, so here's the feeds that we, or the additions that we add to the, the supplement that we give our family milk cow. We've got dry molasses, DE, and this is the Fatrell's vitamin uh, dairy supplement. And then we also use, um, we try to find an organic um, feed that usually it does contain some grain. Ideally, you want to um, find a feed that doesn't have any soy. Um, and you could also feed some sprouted uh, grains. The cows love that as well. So here's the head gate that we have for Faith. And we put her feet in there. Her head goes in here, and then this shuts closed. And then over here is our milking equipment. That's our bucket, and that's the gear. And all we do is um, we have a switch over here um, that can turn this whole thing on at one time, which is really neat. It makes it really easy to just turn that button. And then this is the vacuum hose, and it connects to the bucket. This little thing right here, you just put it on. It just, it just scoots on. And then this is our claw. It'll go upside down on the cow like this. And then when we turn this on button on over here, <laughs> that's our helper assistant, Isabella. <laughs> You, we're going to flip this on here and that just makes the air start sucking in this way and it creates a, a vacuum that pulls the milk out and it'll pull it through this milk tube into this bucket here. Alright, so now we just have to bring Faith in. Our head's in there so she can be left to right, but her head's locked. And, but she doesn't want to move because she has food. So we have warm water here that we've put soap in. And then you can use soft cotton cloths, but I really like these because they're disposable. They're just shop towels. So I get it all wet with soap. And then I come over here and we just clean up her teats really good. Sometimes she might have poop on here from laying down in the pasture. Um, today she's pretty clean. And then this is um, water, vinegar, and it has um, iodine in it, as well as a little bit of essential oils. And it's just a sanitizer. I just spray it at the end of each teeth. And then you take a new, um, dry, clean chop towel. And I dry off each one, and I try to use a new part of the towel on each teeth. Pulling down and then getting the end of the teeth. Because the end is where you know the milk comes out. So make sure you're getting the end and the top where the sections are going to go. Alright, now this is called a strip cup. And this mesh screen um, catches if there's anything wrong with the milk. So we're just testing out each quarter. Because each quarter is its own entity. So that one's clean. And that one's clean. And the motion is like this. You're, you're closing your teeth and then you're pulling, you're pushing the milk. pulling down um, on all four of the inflations and it helps make sure that we get all the milk out of her bag because you don't want to leave any milk in there. And the way to know if there's milk still coming out is a couple ways. Right there at the bottom that um, clear yellow device underneath, you can tell what milk is coming, if there's milk coming through on the each side. 
and also you'll get really um, accustomed to your cow and what her bag looks like when she still has milk in there and when it's completely empty. So he'll just be pulling down, he just pulls down with even pressure, you know, really gently. If you pull down too hard, it, one of the inflations will fall off or the whole thing might fall off because it'll lose pressure. And that's fine, just put it back on. But you'll, you'll get a feeling for how, you know, you need to pull down, but you pull down with constant pressure. And then he pulls, we know which bags take longer to milk out, so he'll pull down on it and massage the bag to make sure you fully get all the milk out. Once you're done, I've made up this, um, this utter bomb, and it's made out of um, coconut oil, shea butter, some essential oils, and then some herbs, and I just have it in a mason jar. And I just take the oil, and I rub it on the bottom of her teeth. Just to help them not be chaffy, y'all. It's just kind of a nice thing. So we just like to um, thank our cow for giving us milk and feeding and nourishing our family so we just brush her down I wanted to show you this because it's my favorite feature um, we went to the hardware store and bought that little thing on top up there on the roof and it bolts up into a board that's up in the attic so it can hold a lot of weight and then we just bought some chains cut them to length and they we also bought some hooks and it makes it so we can hang our dairy equipment and air dry it instead of um, drying it with a cloth we have a two-step process like once a week when I'm gonna make cheese and I want my equipment to be extremely clean the day before we have the official cleaning stuff, which is, um, when you handle this stuff, you want to use gloves. So these are just some chemical proof gloves. And it's a two-step dairy wash that we got from a dairy, com a dairy supply company. You can get them online. We just put it in these little jars that I got at Walmart. This is called, um, it's the liquid pipe cleaner. It's like the all-purpose dairy wash. And we'll add that to, we'll fill this up with water and add about two ounces of this to that. And then this is really important. You never mix this with this. It'll create like a bad chemical reaction. So you drain all the water out with all the equipment in there. Fill it back up with water after it's rinsed off. When This is the acid, so it would be like vinegar. And we add that to the water. And we do that just once a week. We don't do it all the time. But this is great because it gets the milk stone off of the equipment in places that you probably miss or can't see. And then the other option that we do every day is we use common bleach, which I don't like bleach and I don't use it for anything else other than equipment. You can use a, just a common dish soap. Here's a seventh generation. You can use Dawn. Um, and that's what we do for the every day. So I just take this whole container up. You disconnect the milk hose. This is the claw. And you unhook all these hoses. And we just plop everything into our laundry sink. And I just I really like having this laundry sink because it's so great for cleaning milk equipment. You pull this out, this was on there. Now this is like the brain of your operation, so you want to be really gentle with this. This doesn't get washed. This is just the vacuum. So I place this over here. This is the milk lid. So that goes in there the rubber and then we have um, I got this scale which is really neat it gives you an idea how much milk you're getting and you want to calibrate it um, so it's at zero when the bucket is hanging on there so do it when you don't have any milk in there so then you're getting an accurate um, number up there and then with the marker we have a milk calendar over here we can keep track of you know her milk flow So then, this is one of another feature I like. We just got this garden hose and attached it to um, this device here. And all this is is a washing cleaner hose. And it's great because it's short. And then at Lowe's, we got a little fixture in here that makes the male-female ends fit. But you can turn it on and leave it on. 
we plug this up, turn the water on high, and add the soap. You probably add a teaspoon, not very much. Add a, about a splash of vinegar, or not vinegar, this is bleach. I like bleach because it really sanitizes everything, and I don't use a lot of it, but uh, my cheeses weren't turning out until I really started sterilizing my equipment. So, Alright, so now we're going to fill this whole thing up with water. I have these two brushes that I really like that I got from the dairy supply company. Um, this is a bristle, and it fits the milk hose um, perfectly. So like the bristles go to the outside and they fit that perfect. So I really like that. And what's nice is it has this wire on it so you can feed this through. So what you do is you put this end in first and you feed it through. And it's Alright, so we got that through. And then we have another brush. Um, and this is great because it's the inflation cleaner or the steep cleaner brush. And if you notice, it fits this thing perfectly. So this brush goes up against this tube here and then this part here cleans this area here and it also is long enough so it reaches up and does that gasket up there so you push this in turn this around and you um, do this on all four so pro this is probably like my everyday cleaning um, and then once a week I take apart um, I take apart the whole all this equipment to get everything uh, inside of this this little deal here and so when I take it apart you undo this screw undo all this stuff um, and that's when I do my really thorough cleaning but I don't do that every day I don't really find it to be completely necessary and it, it would take an extraordinary amount of time all right so now I've drained all the water and I'm just gonna rinse everything off and I have the water I have this water on hot, so it's the hottest it'll go. I have the cold water completely off. So this is the little gasket that goes on top. I take it and just place it over on the side. Uh, let's do the top of the muck equipment. Muck buggy. I'm going to rinse it off really good. And I'm, these gloves come in handy because I have the water really hot. And I just take this and hang it up on top. Uh, these little hooks are just pretty simple hooks. I'll show them to you. Um, so this is hooked to the chain, and then I use this part here to just hook the equipment to. Okay, rinse the brush off. And then I uh, take the water and I shoot it through. Um, every inflation. So there's soap and all kinds of milk and stuff in there. So I go that direction, I rinse off the outside, and then I do, I put it through the other end, and I let clean water run through all of it. Rinse it off, and then put it up to hang dry. Rinse out the milk too. It's great having this um, spray wash. Sprayer makes it a lot easier. Hang that up. And then this is a little rubber gasket. Clean the milk bucket out. So I'm just spraying water in here. I put some soap in here and some bleach in here. And I just boil it around. And I put it in there to get some of that soapy water on the lid, the rim. And then I clean the outside. You can use a, you know, a brush with a little bit of soap on it, just to rub it down. A lot of times you'll get milk on the outside from the cloth. Water on hot, it's as hot as it'll 
it'll get handle. And then I clip it on, and then it goes up here and clips onto the top here. And that's it. You just let everything air dry, and it's ready for the next day's milking.